I gotta tell you something. Have you ever thought to yourself, why don't I just try stacking the transition effects that are provided in the Venture Resolve? So that's exactly what I thought today when I was doing a little bit of an experiment. So in this video, I'll show you how you can stack the different transitions that are provided by DaVinci Resolve and then how you can turn those into your own little presets. So let's do this. All right, we're going to create these. Now, by default, this was just a normal cross dissolve. But in this case, let's try to do this completely with the transitions that are provided right here. So we have, I'm going to close this media. So we have the video transitions and we're going to add a cross dissolve right here. Set these to there, to that side, and we're going to set the duration to one second. And we need these to be a fusion cross dissolve. So we just right click and turn that into a fusion cross dissolve. Now we're going to open this in fusion. Okay. Now we have these cross dissolve right here in fusion. Now there are two more elements that we want to mix in this case. So it's going to be a slide in and also a glow transition. So what do we do first? Okay. So in these transitions right here, we don't have a push transition that is provided by DaVinci Resolve. So what can we do about this? Well, we can just create this because the push transition is probably the first one that you will learn to do whenever you're just trying to do stuff. So we're going to add a transform, but not the XF, but the transform that allows us to have the individual X and Y position values. So I'm going to set this up to be from this place. I think it's a good one. I'm going to double click because that's the number that we're just going to keep in mind. We're going to modify this and add an anim curves. On the anim curves, we're going to go to the offset section, control V. And now on this one, we're going to press Control V again to paste that, but we're going to make these a positives. So the scale takes us to the end result, which is going to be zero in this case. So the center, if we take a look at these, now we have that slide up or little push transition with the cross dissolve or the fade in effect in this case, because there's nothing before the text. All right. Now we have a bunch of other stuff that we can try here, but in this case, I said we're going to do a glow one. So I'm going to search for glow and there's always two provided, but I think they're pretty much the same. I'm not sure what the difference is. Okay. So with this glow transition right here. Okay. So I just, be, I just be myself. Dang it. But okay. We have this glow right here. This merge node and these cross dissolve are basically the same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these by pressing control X and I'm going to paste it inside that right there. I'm going to hold shift and drop it right there. And now we have to actually make sure that we have the for the background coming to the background. This case is a little bit like mixed up, but it doesn't matter that much because once we have those two put right there, we can press control T and now we have this background element coming from the background on the dissolve node. Now we can grab this media in, connect this to the background. Now we connect these to the foreground. And the last thing that we're going to do is make sure that we bring this transform node in it as well, if you want to do so, but it's not a necessary step. Now I'm going to press control T on this merge node as well, so that we have the dissolve coming to the background and then we're going to deactivate that. Now, if we press play, we have a little glow push up transition. Now this is, looks all right, but it's not enough. What can we do about this? We can grab this glow, also hold control and select the dissolve and also the transform. Now we're going to open the spline editor and we're going to open the lookup table for each of these. So we're going to need a couple of them. So we have how many lookup tables right here? A ton of them. We're going to select all the lookup tables. I didn't do these before, so I'm not sure. This blend one is from the merge node, so it doesn't matter. We can just ignore that because that is deactivated. All right now we're going to press fit to screen and we can see all the lookup tables have been selected. Press Ctrl A, now press F and then we're going to use T to adjust this like that. Now don't worry about that linear one. That is the lookup table from the branch node. But we can deactivate that so we don't get bothered by that. Okay, we have this curve right here. And if we bring this down so we can check it out on screen, we can see it working and it looks a little bit better. If you want these to be a little bit more impactful, just press T and make sure that increase the ease in 
and then also the ease out if you want to do so just play around until you get a curve that you like and then from then on you can make all the modifications that you want until you get the desired result and this is already a dynamic transition because we have used the anim curves for these and if you press play we have that animation right there you can make these even smaller so it's a little bit faster like this and then what you can do is right click and then you create a transition preset here you will name these uh fade in slide up glow or something like that whatever describes your transition and then you press ok now you can go to your video transitions right here and you will find these under the user section if we copy these and just get rid of that one we can grab and drop these on top of it and now you can also see a bunch of different controls have been already added which are the glow controls because we added a bunch of things into the glow transition that we added from inside fusion from this point you can start and develop this on your own and add more stuff make this as robust as you want and then you can even just mix things up even more for example you can add a let's say we're gonna add a duplicate right here and we want to delay these by two and then we're gonna actually make these to be only the red and blue channels now if we go back to the edit page we have that text with a little bit of a shadow behind it i forgot to mention this while i was recording these but as you know we adjusted the lookup tables of all of these elements now for the animation to actually use those curves we need to go into the modifiers into the individual modifiers and change them from linear to custom so you select the glow right here so we're gonna select glow 2 and then change this to custom and then this one as well and the same thing for the cross dissolve modifier right here because on the preset that we saved it was actually set to linear so now we actually see the real effect of the curve that we made by adjusting the lookup tables as i said you can develop these a lot more so since we're talking about transitions and text and stuff like that make sure to check out the text effects pack that i released not long ago where you can find 35 different text animations that you can use on your next video now there's another update coming for these in which i'm adding the intro and outro control and then duration for the intro and outro as well so if you press play right here you can adjust the duration of the intro and the outro i still have to do this for 30 more titles but in the meantime you can already work with the ones that are already available on the pack which are already 35 but it's just a previous version so make sure to check out the link in the description and go and download the text effects pack that i created that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one bye